All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Whitetail Bushcraft. I'm Nick. Today, we're going to do a little gear review on the Expedition Research Kettle. Do a little bushcraft cooking with it. Make sure you watch the whole video so you can learn how to get one of these for yourself for free. Stay tuned. As soon as we get some coals ready, do a little cooking. Alright, today we're going to use this thing to cook a little bit of bushcraft pho, so stay tuned. Alright guys, we're here at the headquarters at the farm, so excuse the highway noise. But uh, today we're going to talk about this Expedition Research to give you some of the specs on it. It does hold 800 milliliters of fluid ounces safe boiling level is 600 milliliters of fluid ounces has the micro spout locking handle with the uh, silicone grip deep dish lid three vapor holes on it hardened aluminum comes with this mesh carrying bag runs right around that twenty dollar range uh, definitely check their site out they're a uh, husband and team duo that's uh, producing these products and they really put a lot of thought and effort and they try to give you a very good product for the money. So check them out, expeditionresearch.com. Uh, we're going to get this going. We're going to do a little bushcraft pho today. This thing is very lightweight. It's 6.2 ounces. It's a hardened aluminum. What you get with it is a mesh bag. You can always use it for mushroom hunting. And also the kettle and lid. They really uh, put a lot of effort and a lot of thought into their designs. With this system, this is the first kettle I've had that you can actually go to a 90 degree and the uh, lid won't fall off, which is awesome. Just awesome. He really thought it out. Aaron did. Or A.A. Ron. <laughs> but uh, definitely check out their site. Give you a kind of a close-up look of this thing. As you can see, guys, this thing really w works awesome in conjunction with his uh, Expedition Re Research Bushcraft Grill. What I got going in here is some bone broth, and we're going to add some other spices to this. Now, please, uh, my apologies to any chefs out there. This is a bushcraft version of a pho. I have friends that are Laos and they cook an awesome pho. So today we're going to do a bushcraft style my way. So we're going to get this on a boil. We want this a super hot boil because it's actually going to cook our meat. Alright, first thing we're going to do, slice this up a piece of ginger. Then we're going to get that roasted on the fire. Boy, that ginger smells good. We're gonna get that nice and roasted on that fire. We want it to char. Don't want that char. Now, most pho, they would act star knees and cloves. I don't do that. I don't like the licorice taste. Me, I'm going to add garlic instead. Okay, I'm also going to roast up a little piece of garlic. You see how that's getting nice and charred. Waiting on it to boil. Also what we're going to add to the broth is a cinnamon stick, some brown sugar, most Thai pho, you would use rock sugar. We also got some cayenne pepper, pep, cracked pepper, and salt. We're gonna throw that in right now into the pot. Yeah, buddy.
See how that's charring? That's what we want. I'm going to go ahead and throw that right in there. The onion's nice and charred. Throw that in there. Let that do a little bit more. I almost forgot. We are going to char up a nice jalapeno. Yeah, buddy. Here, guys, we got some nice curly tipped wild onions or garlic, like a chive almost. I think we're gonna go ahead and pull them. Some nice bulbs on them. We're gonna definitely add that to our pho. Those would be good. I think we're gonna add some wild dandelions to the mix. And I also got some wild ramps. Cut them roots off. We'll use these for chives for the fresh greens. Nice ball on that one. Ramps, I just brought the leaves with me. I think we're going to go ahead and add our roasted garlic right into the pot. Do a little flip on our jalapeno. These are just like a chive. Garlic onion. Almost like a ramp taste, but it's still got its own taste. Disclaimer, be sure what you guys are picking and eating. You don't want to go poison yourself, and it's really easy to do. Stick with the easy ones. If it smells like an onion, it's an onion. All right, I picked some nice young dandelions. I used to pick these with my Aunt Lucy all the time. She was from Italy. We'd go out for hours, and she'd help me know which ones. She'd teach me which ones were the tender ones and not real bitter. They give it a little bitter taste, but they're an awesome green, a lot of vitamin C. My, my great Aunt Lucy was all of about four foot eight, a little Italian woman. And, you know, my grandmother, she could make a rotten rhino's rump taste good, so I grew up all Italian food, so this is something a little different, though, we're doing today. I also brought out a nice big old chunk of venison, and uh, it's kind of semi-frozen just because I want to be able to do super, super paper thin slices because that boiling broth is actually what's going to cook this to a medium rare, I'm hoping. <laughs> I figure by the time it's ready and I get this all cut, it'll thaw out and be ready to go into my pho. And I'm cutting against the grain, there's my text scene. I'm cutting against the grain just so it'll have a better texture. We're going to cut this super, 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 super thin. Once again, that boiling beef bone broth is what's actually going to cook this. It's probably a little thicker than I want it, but that's all right. You can see they're thin. I'm also going to slice up this roasted jalapeno and get that ready to be thrown in there. I'm going to go ahead and take the seeds out. I'm going to be a little wimpy today so it ain't quite as hot. At least most of them. Sorry about all the highway noise, guys, but out here at the farm... They've added on to the highway. They cut a bunch of trees down along the highway, so we're getting a lot more noise now. But I got a lot of adventures planned way down south in Ohio where I won't have to listen to it as much. But anywhere you go in Ohio, there's a highway. All right, we're going to slice them up and get them ready to go into. I got our rice noodles. 
blanching a little bit. And like I say, they'll be cooked a lot more too when I pour this on there. Let's see how our kettle's doing. We're almost to a boil. I want to get that scalding hot boiling. I think these are blanched enough. I'm going to go ahead and pour that water out. All right, this stuff is definitely boiling good and hot. So we're going to go ahead and add a few things. We're gonna, I drain the water off of the noodles. First, we're going to add our deer pieces in there raw. Super thin pieces. We got all our wild greens here, plus some onions. I'm going to go ahead and throw some wild ramps in there. Some of our dandelion greens, some onions, and some of these wild onions also. Be more like a chive. And then of course we gotta put some of them jalapenos in there. I like lots of jalapenos. Alright, we are ready to pour. That stuff is scalding hot. And that should cook our venison to a nice medium rare. And you can already see it starting to change color. I'm really liking this Expedition Research kettle, guys. You can see you leave all them goodies in there. You don't want to actually eat that part. That was all for spices. Let's take a look how this is doing. You can see it's already cooking it up. Oh yeah, I mean that's super hot. We're going to let that just sit a little while. Let it finish cooking. And get down to temperature that we can actually eat it. It's also good to garnish it with a lime wedge. I think we'll do that. Alright, it is definitely time to check this pho out. Look at that, guys. Man, that meat's perfectly cooked. A little pink. Just perfect. Put a little lemon and garnish in there, or lime garnish in there. And we're ready to rock. One thing it's missing is some bean sprouts. All right, time for the pho taste test. Try out some of this meat, some of these greens. Oh, son, just don't get no better than that. Wow. Came out a lot better than I thought it was gonna, guys. Like I said, I I've been eating dandelions forever, ever since I was a little kid. My aunt, my great aunt Lucy and grandma gave me some of them, some of that jalapeno, some of the meat. Yeah, buddy. Mm. And actually, the broth ain't too bad. It really ain't. It ain't nothing like no uh, Thai chef or a uh, friend of our family's from Laos uh, 
friend of the family, I should say, from Laos, Sebastian. He's like another son to me. He's the one who kind of turned us on to this. They actually have a restaurant they started. Man, it's the best food I ever ate. Wow, is that good, guys. Wow, is that good. Mm. Almost forgot. Since it is a nice spring day, even closer to summer, brought a fine land shark beverage. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze me a little lime in there. I don't like throwing the whole thing down in there. I just like to put a little lime in there. And uh, cheers, guys, to the next video. Get back to the end. Just want to let you guys know, in no way did I uh, get paid for this commercial. I'm strictly going to start doing gear reviews on equipment that I actually use. I'm not going to do the super china crap anymore. I'm mainly, excuse me, <laughs> I'm mainly looking for gear that I use. Now I'm going to improve, get better gear as I go, and I'm going to do gear reviews on them. But I'm going to make sure I use them for a little while. Something like this had a pretty good idea. It's going to be a good item. So I went ahead and showed you for the first time using it, which I love it, guys. Like I say, thumbs up from the Whitetail Bushcraft clan over here. Uh, we're going to do a lot more gear reviews this time of year. Hunting season's not in, so I didn't really get any hunting videos for you. Actual kills this year because all the new things on uh, YouTube, all the new censorship. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing it. I've decided what I'm going to do is just not monetize those. Hopefully they won't give my channel a bad flag. My views have dropped tremendously, and I'm definitely guessing it's because, you know, we're a hunting bushcraft channel. So, hang in there with me. Like I say, just don't get no better than this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta do that slurping noise, it makes it more authentic. Fa. You know what would be good in this? Some uh, more pepper flake, red pepper flake or something. All right, well, all you got to do to win one of these for yourself, to get a free one shipped to your door, it's got to be in the continental U.S. I'm a little low on funds right now, guys, so definitely going to leave it in the continental U.S. But all you got to do is leave a comment below, watch one of my videos, and go check out Aaron's site, expeditionresearch.com. I'll leave the link below. Thank you, Aaron, for producing such a great product out there. I love your grill, and I love your kettle. Hopefully, you check out some more of your stuff, too. Take care, guys. I'm Nick with Whitetail Bushcraft.